Hey everybody, I'm Rick Beato. In today's episode, we're gonna talk about composing in parallel major and minor keys. I wanna let you know that I wrote a piece specifically for this episode, and if you wanna skip ahead till about four minutes and 45 seconds, you can hear the piece in its entirety. I'd like you to listen to it. Okay, getting back to the parallel major and minor, we're not gonna make it that easy. We're not gonna go from C major to C minor. We're gonna kind of compose in C dominant and C minor. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, we're gonna use two different modes. One of them, the dominant mode, is gonna be the C super locrian, or the alter dominant, which is the seventh mode of the melodic minor scale. In this case, it would be the D flat melodic minor scale. And we're gonna use C Hungarian minor. C Hungarian minor is the fourth mode of G double harmonic major. Now, one of the things that's tricky about these scales, these double harmonic major scales, or the Hungarian minor scale, which is one of the modes, is that there are three chromatic notes in a row because of the scale construction. Because of that, there are many hidden and harmonics, meaning hidden chords that you might not see at first glance, okay? Well, let's talk about the scale construction of both the scales. So the C alter dominant scale is actually easy to remember. It's one, flat two, flat three, flat four, flat five, flat six, flat seven, and back to one. So that's all the notes of D flat melodic minor, but starting in C. Okay, so out of that scale, we have a number of chords. There's a number of triads. For example, there is C diminished, but there's also C augmented. This is actually a hidden and harmonic. So the triads of the scale are C diminished, C augmented, D flat minor, D flat sus4, E flat minor, E flat sus4, E augmented. Then we have F sharp major, F sharp Lydian, which would be one sharp four five. We have A flat major, we have A flat sus4, and we have another hidden and harmonic here, A flat augment, and then we have lastly, B flat diminished and B flat sus4 flat five. Now the Hungarian minor scale construction is one, two, flat three, sharp four, five, flat six, major seven. And back to one. So what do we have here? Well, because it has a sharp four, a five, and a flat six, because of these three consecutive chromatic notes, we can get some really interesting, some might say ominous voicings, like B minor over C minor. Both those triads are in the scale. Or you could have something like A flat major over G major. Beautiful. Beautiful sign. And you can take these things and you can spread them out. That would be a B minor spread triad over a C minor spread triad. You could also go do A flat major over G major like that, but spread. Beautiful. Love it. How do I suggest you use these? Well, for compositional purposes, the way that you will differentiate between these two scales, since they both have the same tonic, is you're going to exploit the notes that are different between the scales. And you're gonna look for things like half steps, okay? My C alter dominant sound, I might pick a sound like this. Now what I have here is I have C, A flat, B flat, and then an F sharp Lydian triad above that. So I'm gonna look for sounds and melodies that exploit the differences between these. Now there are common notes between the two. For example, the note E flat is in both scales. The note F sharp is in both scales, although in the alter dominant, you'd call it G flat. The note A flat is in both scales. So what are the notes that are different? Well, B is only in the Hungarian minor scale. The note G is only in the Hungarian minor scale. These are notes that we want to exploit when the scales change, okay? Because these are the notes that cannot be held over. But a note that's common between the two chords, like E flat, for example, you could have Hungarian minor with E flat on the top going to C super locrian. Beautiful sound right there, right? Da, da. I love it. 
So I'm going to begin my composition with the Hungarian minor scale. And I'm going to go, actually go from minor to major or minor to dominant. And you can take these and create melodic ideas. I can go, for example, could be my opening theme. So I'm going to go back and forth between the two scales and you will hear that the Hungarian minor, because of those three consecutive half steps, has a much darker sound to it. I think you'll find the super Locrian to be a more beautiful, beautiful tone, even though it's also very melancholy and haunting. Let's check out the piece. That's all for now. Please subscribe here to my Everything Music YouTube channel. All these concepts are in the Beato book. That's how I support my channel through that, selling t-shirts, coffee mugs, and it'll be really helpful to you if you're a composer, an improviser, or want to learn more theory to check out the book. You can find it on my website at www.rickbeato.com. Follow me on Instagram at rickbeato1. And if you want to support the channel even more, you can become a member of the Beato Club. Thank you so much for watching.